Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to show you how to make a custom silicone seal for your Weber kettle grill to eliminate any smoke leaks that you may have. I don't know about you, but for me, I pretty much had one side of the grill that I couldn't get to stop leaking. So we're gonna use some silicone, some Vaseline, and we're gonna put a custom seal onto this Weber kettle grill. What we're gonna do and the way that this works is we're gonna take our top, first clean this rim all the way around really well. Um, you can clean uh, this bottom lip as well. And then you're gonna take the silicone and you're gonna run a bead all around the entire inside. You're gonna run Vaseline all over the top of this just so that it doesn't stick. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna set it down and then let it dry. I'm gonna apply this silicone pretty liberally so that we get a good seal. Now I've done this before and I will say this stuff holds up really well. Um, the previous seal that I had on the grill, which I'm now replacing, I put it on the lip instead of in the lid, which is the only reason I'm replacing it, but I used it for two years without any issues. I pretty much used almost this entire tube, so keep, keep that in mind. Now granted, I did put it on pretty, uh, pretty thick. So before I touch this, I'm gonna go ahead and put some Vaseline on the top of the grill, and then we'll come back to this. I might touch it up a little bit before pressing it down. Take your Vaseline and apply it liberally to this lip on the kettle. Okay, so we've got our Vaseline applied um, to this lip on the bottom part of the Weber. We've got our silicone all around the inside of the top. And so the idea is you place it down on top, kind of press, you know, press firmly, and then don't touch it for 24 to 48 hours. You know, wait that full 48 if you just want to really be sure. Um, if you need to touch up any spots, I'm probably going to try to run my finger um, to get some of these spots a little more even before I put it down. And then once I do that, I'll set it on. Now one tip about setting it on is you might wanna look at the handle, look where your vents are, and set it down in a way that's easy to remember. If your kettle like mine isn't perfectly round, then this seal is gonna work best in one position. So however you decide to do that so that you can remember it, do that. Um, so that you can put the, the lid on in the same direction each time for the best results. All right, so I've got it spread on the top, as you can see here. Now we're going to take it and press it down on the grill. I'm gonna press down. There we go. I'm gonna let that rest and uh, we'll see you in probably two days. All right, so I've, I've let it actually dry for three days. Check that after 24 hours, it didn't budge. Check that after 48. And I could tell it would move a little bit, so I decided to wait till today. You really need to be careful and make sure you put a ton of Vaseline. Because if you don't, you're gonna run the risk of actually just, you know, sealing your Weber shut and good luck getting it open. So keep that in mind, disclaimer. Um, use a lot of Vaseline. If you do, you should be fine. You might have to work with it. The first time I did this, it came off pretty easily. I think I'm gonna have to work this one a little bit. I don't think I used enough Vaseline, so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I also, I have this just because this this rim is can really dig into your fingers, so I just, that's what I had the rags for. Um, so let's see. Yep. Dude. 
there's our seal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to light a fire in here, and then put this down on top, just to see how well it actually seals now. You can kind of see how in some areas, how it basically made room for that lip, almost perfectly. Missing some on this side. Yeah, we'll see. I am going to clean up the Vaseline off of this rim real quick. All right, so I've got some wet wood in there making a lot of smoke and uh, it looks like we're totally sealed up now. Just have the smoke come out of the top. I'm looking for leaks. What's actually kind of funny is I think there's a small leak um, by the thermometer. But as far as for around the grill, I don't see any smoke coming out the side. Looks like it's all just coming out the vent, which is great, which should allow for really good temperature control. And I've got a good bit of smoke in there too. I'll take this off to show you. So it was sealed up very, very well. Before making this silicone seal um, for this kettle, uh, I had smoke kind of billowing out of one side and nothing I did could stop it. So um, silicone seems to have worked really well. Should help regulate temperature even better on those low and slow cooks. Thanks so much for watching Break It Yourself. We hope this video was helpful to you and we'll see you next time.